Well, my next guest became one of the stories of the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia. In the process of winning the gold medal for Canada in women's curling, they also became the only team to go undefeated in the Olympic tournament ever. They're, they're a team that the people of Winnipeg are proud to call their own. From the San Vital Curling Club, please welcome the 2014 Olympic gold medal champions in, in women's curling, Caitlin Laws, Don McEwen, Jill Officer, and Skip Jennifer Jones. I mean, uh, you know, we, we actually, we talked about this in Sochi. You remember we said, we're doing this show in Winnipeg and, and you gotta get, this was before you won the gold medal. And there was like a little tiny part of me that thought, if they don't get any medals, <laughs> it's gonna be really awkward. You know? I think you actually said you have to win to be on the show. So the pressure was <laughs> it's on. It's not true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Jennifer, I mean, uh, since we spoke in Sochi, a lot has happened. Uh, judging by your Twitter updates, first of all, it seems like you haven't had much time to relax. How has the last month been for you? It's been absolutely incredible, overwhelming, emotional, everything. And it just feels like the dream is continuing for us. We get to do all of these amazing things, like be on the queue with you and, and present at the Junos tomorrow or on Sunday. We just picked out some diamonds today. What? Yeah, I know. <laughs> we get to wear these beautiful diamonds from our clash. And we got to pick them out and with our gowns. And who gets to do those crazy things? The, the Jets honored us. We got to go to Maple Leaf Gardens, go in the dressing room and meet some the of ACC, the, yeah. at the ACC, which yeah. nobody gets to do. The players were, were dressed, but, um, <laughs> but we did get to do it, which was yeah, unfortunate. <laughs> but, right, okay. but, but I think just honestly, kidding. the best part has been just the, the welcoming of everybody in Winnipeg and Manitoba and Canada. And, and to hear all of the stories of what everybody was doing when we won the gold medal, we feel that everybody was supporting us and cheering us on and that we've made this impact. And you, you never think you're gonna do that. It's unbelievable. So, Dawn, you, you had the chance to take a, I mean, have you had a chance to, st to step back and actually think about what you've accomplished? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it, we've been so busy coming home, doing all these awesome things, but uh, there's been moments, even today, the four of us had some lunch together and we're like, wow, you know, we've been in the Olympics and we won a gold medal and it's just been an unbelievable ride for us. And we're just very thankful. Let's go back to that gold medal winning game. It was really close with Sweden, right up until the ninth end. And Caitlin in the tenth end, it was clear, when it was clear, you were moments away from winning. Can you describe the emotions that were going through your head? Well, I can kind of talk about the ninth end. After we stole two points and we went up three, I, we kind of said, if we make all of our eight shots, we're going to win the gold medal. And so at that moment, we just kind of knew it was in our hands. And I remember my last shot that I threw was a peel. And I kind of said to myself, I want to enjoy this moment because it's my last rock at the Olympics. And so I took an extra second and kind of let that sink in and just really enjoyed the whole moment of it. And then holding the broom for Jen, I mean, I was just shaking. And she kept cleaning her rock over and over again. <laughs> like, I, th I thought I took a long time, but she really got to enjoy the moment. <laughs> you're gonna do something right you got to do it right yeah. well Jen there, there's this amazing camera shot of you as you show you're throwing your last rock to win the gold it looks like you're going through various stages of emotion and celebration focus joy disbelief pure elation uh, if you can take us through that last shot honestly it was the easy one of the easiest shots you're ever gonna have to to make to, to win a championship for sure. So. For you, the best curler <laughs> in the world. Yeah. yeah, it might be a little challenging <laughs> for me. you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for corroborating. <laughs> but it would that. be easier than some shots. So, uh, it, and, and the moment I let it go, I knew that we had won. And it felt like slow motion because, I mean, the girls are sweeping. Jill and Don had their jobs and Caitlin's calling line and, and uh, she pretty much knew we won. But I just got to absorb, I had nothing to do after I let it go and I knew we won. So it was like slow motion and I got to go through all the hard work and just all the things that we had been through and, and you I got saw to the whole movie in slow-mo. Yeah. yeah, and it felt like that 10 seconds lasted 10 minutes. And I just kept going in my head and then all of a sudden it kind of came out like, oh my God, we won. Like we won the gold. And then I started to cry and I was leaping up and down and it was just fantastic. Um, <laughs> yeah, come on. Um, Jill, you and Jen have been teammates for the better part of two decades. There's, uh, and there's been a lot made of the bond that, that, that you guys share. Can you describe what it was like to win a gold medal together, to win one with Jen? 
you know what, I don't, I can't imagine having accomplished this and everything else that I've accomplished in my career without Jen. Everything that, um, every, every time I think about some of the great moments on, on the ice and off the ice as well, it's been with, with Jen. And um, as you said, it's been almost 20 years, not dating us at all, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's been almost 20 years and I, it, we, we must have something that works together. We have some sort of chemistry that works together. And um, you know, I think that we've probably, I know she's helped me uh, grow as an athlete and as a person and uh, has taught me a lot. And uh, I feel like she's developed into such an amazing uh, leader and uh, she leads this team very very well and I, I just I don't know what to say other than I honestly cannot imagine have imagine having been there with anybody else nice Don I mean it's no secret that Winnipeg has fully embraced uh, team Jones could you feel that when you were in Russia Oh yeah, I mean, we were going through Twitter and all those other social media outlets and everyone was just constant uh, feedback to us, how excited they were. And, but it was really coming home is when we really realized how people were so invested in us and were so emotional. I mean, people coming up to us in the airport were getting emotional because mm. they were just so like living and breathing with us out there at the Olympics. So it was, it's really special. All right. Um, Janet, I got to ask you this before I let you go. We got about two minutes left here. When you were on the show in Sochi, we did this this feature interview, and actually we did it before you won the gold. I was, you know, and it and it turned into the great feature interview to do. But but I was also thinking, God, these guys better. Win. You guys were so <laughs> relaxed the whole time. You you knew you were going to win. But I asked you about the future and the what the incarnation of Team Jones was going to happen. At the time, you were kind of cagey, saying you were just going to focus on these Olympics. Um, you've had a month to reflect. Can you share with us officially? I know you haven't said anywhere what is happening with the future of this team. We've been a tad busy, so we haven't really had a chance to talk. Um, but I, I, I don't have an official answer, I guess. But I know that I can't imagine not playing with these girls. Um, they're my best friends. They're my amazing teammates. They make my life so much better. And so I can't imagine not playing with these girls, and I can't imagine not playing. Um, it's just a matter of we just got to ensure that everybody's in a life place where we can do it. So I'd be surprised if we didn't continue for at least a little while, but that's just me talking and not the rest of them. So. Might, might the continuing to play together for a little while extend to the next Olympics? If we're gonna play, we play till the next Olympics. All right. Sure, so. yeah. That's what we wanted to hear. Uh, it's it's such a pleasure to see you again, and and uh, I'm looking forward to getting to just hang out and and so we we didn't get a chance to celebrate the, your victory. Uh, I didn't I barely saw you guys after your gold medal, but to do it in Winnipeg together. Well, we told uh, you if you came to Winnipeg, we'd take you out. So. I'm looking forward yeah. to it. <laughs> Team Jennifer Jones, everybody. Jennifer, Caitlin Laws, Jill Officer, Don McEwen, your 2014 Sochi Olympic women's girl curling gold medalist. Literally the best.